Okay, let's look at um, queenside castling in the honey badger when your opponent castles queenside. So, uh, just make some opening moves. Um, here, 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 and now here. Whenever, whenever they do this and they haven't castled queenside yet, be sure, but it's a good chance that they're going to castle queenside. Now, in this position, there's a little combination here that gets that uh, starts off a combo right off the bat. And this move here, it's this little move right here. Here's what here's what happens. If he castles now, you play here. Take, take. Now, he takes with the knight. You take here. Tries to trap your knight. You've always got this move. Takes with the bishop. You take the bishop. Takes the knight. Sorry. Then you win the pawn again. Okay? And he's already got problems. He's already got some problems right now. You know? So let's go back. Okay, so let's say we don't play this move and we don't get this move in. Okay, so we didn't play the best move, and so we, we instead of playing, so in this position, instead of playing the knight here, we really should, sorry, so in this position, Instead of playing the knight here, we should make this move. We already went. We already went over the combination here. Why we make this move? If he comes here, we've got this move, and he can't take it. He takes it. He loses this pawn over here. So in the very next move, we've got the option of trading off or pushing and dislodging his knight. But he can't take the pawn. If he takes the pawn, he loses there. And a lot of times they'll realize that. Okay, so that's the best move, but. So we got this move here, and, he, and we allowed him to do this, which I've done myself. It's no big deal. So what's your next plan? The next plan is this. We're going to say the same plan. We want to hunt this bishop. We want to hunt this bishop. Makes this diagonal stronger, which is going to make our attack stronger, and it also makes our king safer. And one more thing here in this position that's also something that you always want to keep in mind. For right now, and if they lead the king there, if they step it over there, that's something different, but a lot of times they'll wind up leaving this king here, and you'll notice that this king and this queen are on that same diagonal. And that comes into play a lot. So we hunt the bishop. Now, a, now he might let you take the bishop in, in order to start an attack over here. So here, now, here's where the fun comes in. He's got to take this way. And that's bad, as you can see. But if he doesn't take that way, takes it this way, we've got this move. And so, to save his queen, the only thing he can do is this. Here, 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 here. So that's something to keep in mind. That's, that's something to watch out for. I mean, sorry, say we jump the knight in, and instead of allowing us to take it, plays here. We got here, once again. With the same idea. Comes here and allows us to take it. It's the very same idea. Has to come here, here. Has to play there. Okay. So, next move is there. And this is kind of, 
if you watched the um, video hunting the bishop you know this combination i've showed it to you before it was in hunting the bishop and then you put him here and he's in once again he's in the same problem he's in the same problem so you can see in this position once he castles here he has no choice best move almost is just this i mean he has no choice he can't he can't save the bishop he can't move the bishop the same it goes the same here if he goes here the same idea you know the same idea not only is that the same idea you understand getting here and forking here and here so let's go back to this let's go back and get to this position again so let me show you what i'm talking about here 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 because it comes up a lot you know this is a this is something that happens a lot in uh, in the honey badger when they decide to castle queenside that's used that's the type of position it's going to be in it's from almost always this type of situation here 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 now once again like i said got this move having said that there is something to be said for this move here and if they don't prevent this move by playing this if they just go ahead and castle anyway then as you just saw this is a pretty this is a pretty strong movie doesn't i mean it's not that big a deal it's not that difficult for them to deal with but they've got a lot of ways they can go wrong in this position and it happens all the time and why not give your opponent a chance to make mistakes even bigger mistakes than over here you know once again if he tries to save this bishop here a lot of times he's going to wind up losing a piece if he allows you to take the bishop here by playing here and he doesn't capture correctly, if he captures with the queen in this position, he's going to lose a piece because this queen, oops, sorry, because this queen is on the same diagonal as that bishop, as, as the king. And once we get that light squared bishop, once we hunt the light squared bishop down and capture it, we own that diagonal. So that's the first thing. But now let's say he stops you from doing that, Okay. He plays this movie, stops you from doing it. Now, now where do we go? So in this position, I would suggest here. You don't want to make this move because you're losing a pawn here. Earlier I said you can make this move, but you really can't because you're losing a pawn here. Here, here, here. And you can't recapture here because of this. So you don't really, you really don't want to make that move. Threatening this next move. And now the question for him becomes this once again back to back to the uh king side and his and how he how is he going to attack us how is he going to attack us he could try to open the center but we're not going to let him open the center we haven't moved any pawns so we don't have to move any pawns we're never going to we're never going to capture here he can go here or whatever he can take here and here but we're never going to capture if he wants to recapture here that's fine we'll recapture here and open this up you know if he wants to push here, that's fine. Let him push there. We'll recapture here and open this up. Every time he recaptures here, all he's doing is opening up my line to his king. We're not going to push anywhere in the center because our king is in the center. We want to stay there. So the question becomes, what is he going to do? Is he going to try to pass here? He can try to move his knight here. Okay, he moves his knight there. Fine. But now we're here. As you can see, our, our attack is amping up, and he's, he's nowhere near doing anything, you know? He can come here now, but I think even here, here, he, even here, here, understand how powerful this battery is. Even with that many pieces there, here, 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 I'm still winning a pawn. And never worry about this, because you've always got this. Rook comes here, rook here, rook attacks here, and king here. And what I said about this bishop and his king working together to protect himself, you can see. The rook can't do anything unless he wants to um, give up the rook for the king. And in this position, it might not be such a bad thing because he's still got the queen battery. But with this situation, this opening up over here, I, I think white is okay here. You know. Okay, so here. And I mean, it needs to just, you know, these are just moving. I'm not saying that's necessarily going to happen. I mean, I'm guessing there might be, I'm sure if you play the honey badger enough, you're going to come across this position and, and it's, it's going to be just like this. But I mean, there's other ways the guy, the guy can handle it. He, I mean, they could try, like I said, they could try this here. But once again, any, any attempt to go here and open up any lines is always going to be met with this. And you're just opening up. Line against the king. 
And so what do you do? You play this move. If they play that move, then they're never getting this move in. They're never, never going to push that pawn, be able to push that pawn without uh, losing it. Okay? I mean, they can, and they can try to go here, but even still here, once again, you know, once again, how do you proceed in this position? I would guess you can go here with the idea of coming here. And let, me, and let me, I'll show you how to deal with that. So say he does go here. That's fine. But now, you know, you know, we're opening up lines already, you know, and now we're getting ready to where now you will want to play C4 because when C4 opens up, it's opening up, you know, got these coming here, just one step here, and you got the queen there too as a battery. So, you know, the, our attack is already coming home. And they're still trying to struggle on what to do. You know, they don't do this. If they try to take, if they try to avoid that and they go here, okay, that's fine. But now we're coming here. We're just lodging this knight. Knight tries to come in here. That's fine. We'll go here. Once again, if they ever take here, and we're just going to keep pushing these pawns down the board. And then once again, where's the attack over here? It's nowhere. Now, let's say they do this. I'm going to move and say they were able to do this, and they make this move here. What do you do here? You do this. You don't want to take. You don't want to take. And if they take, you want to be able to recapture with your rook and drop the rook back. They get this position they make here. And they play here. Here. You want to drop the rook back. If they ever take, simply you're going to recapture with the rook. If you can, you might not be able to now. That's an ideal situation. Well, yeah, yeah, you would. Unless, I mean, unless somehow he orchestrated this. And in this situation, you might even want to think about doing that. You know? Even here, you might want to think about doing that. You know, once, you, know you might want to think about doing that. And then chasing the knight and re entering the knight here. So those are just some basic ideas of when the opponent castles queenside issues he's going to have, the opportunities you have. I think I did well. I think I covered everything as much as I could. The beginning of the attack ideas here, why you don't mind, why you might not want to play C4 in this position. If you're, in, if you're anticipating that he's going to castle queenside, you might not want to play C4 in that position simply because you're losing a pawn in some situations, and not only that, but you're opening up the battery for this king, for the queen and the rook here. So I think that's it. Um, I hope that helped. It might have got a little sloppy. I'm going to try to edit it and uh, hope it's a little better when I edit it. But uh, yeah, that was it.